Hey everyone, my name is Kumo and this is my reaction to the 12th and final episode of Konohana Kiton. <sighs> yeah, that's right. We've pretty much entered the part of the season that's the most dreaded. The time of the year, time of the year, the time of the season where all the shows that you like slowly end one by one. Most of which will never get a second season. Almost always your favorite one will never get a second season. And the only solace really is that you'll get a bunch of new shows in not too long, and hopefully you'll enjoy some of them as well, but it will never quite be the same. Anyway, so the last episode. We had some very important guests show up at Konohanate. Gods, you know, people like that. And they each had their kind of regular person that they wanted to go to, like Sakura, not Sak, yes, Sakura. She had the God of War or something go to her. And we also learned a little bit about makeup and how it can perform miracles, pretty much. And Okiku actually managed to find a waifu of her own. Unfortunately, she returned to her owners, so that was short-lived, but it was nice while well it lasted, I suppose. So, let's get into the next episode. Let us begin in 3, 2, 1, play. <laughs> and that's what we get for some coffin. Outside with the snow. <laughs> In the fire it goes. <laughs> oh wow, they must have collected a lot of dust. A ninja scroll, probably. I really do hope this gets a second season, though. So many lovable characters, it would be really sad to have to say goodbye to them forever. And all the customers we've experienced throughout the show. Uh, and best sister. Meanwhile, Sasuke's already eating. <laughs> Don't say that in front of Natsume. <laughs> so I'm staying put. Neither can I. What's a Howery? <laughs> Man, that scroll is not very lucky. <laughs> so I just stole it, no big deal. Probably. <laughs> As is everything else up there. <laughs> They are making me progressively more and more curious what that thing is. <laughs> I'm sure it is. It really is, isn't it? I 
At least I brought Okiku with him. <laughs> Man, Sasuke is not subtle at all about the fact she doesn't want to be here. <laughs> yeah. Your life became a lot more interesting when you joined Kona Hanate. I see you peeking there, Sakura. I don't think I don't see that. <laughs> Not cool, dude. Is she gonna get lost again? <laughs> Uh, Yuzu. If I went anywhere with Yuzu, I'd make sure she was constantly holding my hand. For multiple reasons, really. <laughs> They're probably too busy to help you. At least that's the impression I get. I'm glad somebody took my suggestion on holding hands. Oh, I guess that's one exit. <laughs> And I don't know where they are, but it seems like a very nice place. <laughs> uh, I do like her character design. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty strict. It's interesting hairstyle. Haha. <laughs> 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 Use it. I, that's the impression I'm getting. Are we gonna get a spin off of these people? <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're very picky, very strict. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Yuzu. You work at Kon Konohanate. You can't jump ship to this place. She's not one of you. <laughs> that we explained off screen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you screwed up. Lucky for her. <laughs> but we're kicking you out. That's not good. I'm sure she'll find a way. Whether it be by the power of friendship or the power of love, I guess. If Sasuke determined enough. <laughs> Is she not? But yeah, one way or the other, I'm sure she's going to get back. Maybe the power of a wish, now that I think about it. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you just had to say that, didn't you? Nobody told me there would be homework. I want money. Uh. <laughs> uh, finally break time. I mean, is that really your fault that you collapsed? Yeah, I would prefer to work at the hot spring. <laughs> I know, this is an uncommon skill to have. <laughs> yeah, Bikini-sama. Huh. It's a lot of big words. I just kind of showed up by accident. You can call me a part-timer. She gets lost a lot. So couldn't she go back to the pathway, back where she came, like retrace her steps? <laughs> uh, somebody's impressionable. <laughs> uh, first world problems. Talk about first world problems. I, I don't think that would be a good thing. <laughs> and she's also really cute. <laughs> and they remember her name already. I have people waiting for me back home. Killing the mood. Very important job. <laughs> uh, 
Say more than you need to now. <laughs> she is so harsh. <laughs> but yeah, so nobody else, Sasuke would definitely be unhappy if she never came back. Forever. Yeah, I knew she would think of Satsuki. Doesn't mean... Doesn't mean you can't spend as much time with him as you can before that. And he would want to. Even the turtle, it got included in the flashback. <laughs> Yuzu's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Yes, don't ever think it. <laughs> She's not letting go of that Hot Springs idea. I mean, if she wants to work at Konohanate, she's welcome to. I'd be more than okay with that. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't think Yuzu's quite that old yet. Well, naturally. Everybody loves Yuzu. Uh, blushing red. <laughs> well, if you eat and can't digest it, then naturally it would just build up inside of you and you'd gain weight. <laughs> uh, be patient. There she is. There she is. <laughs> uh. Well, she can't say mad at you after that. <laughs> yeah, it happens all the time. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Sure, whatever. Could at least say it looks good on her, because it really does. <laughs> Even if barely. <laughs> There's already one of those. It's called Konohanate. <laughs> yes, that's what she works at. <laughs> You should come for a visit at the very least. Ah, <laughs> uh, Yuzu. And she will become lost. A lot. <laughs> exactly. I do quite like her. She didn't get a huge amount of screen time in this show, but... <laughs> Little red yuzu hood. Well, doesn't, doesn't she look all soft and warm and snuggly? And they definitely do. And they do as well. This is my arm, I'm not letting go of it. Keep expecting the series to just, you know, end and then it just keeps going. I mean, I'm not complaining, it can go on forever. I'm glad to be here, I'll take one room for a lifetime. So that was the twelfth and final episode of Kino Kinohana Konohana Kiton, and it was definitely a really good final episode. Once again, we had Yuzu get lost, like I think she went on what they call the Path of Gods or something, but ended up in another place. 
because she had a certain scroll with her that she got from Okane, from the attic, the dusty old attic. And she ended up in a place where they do, like, they grant wishes, essentially. You know, mostly wishes for other people's sake. But the interesting thing is that this is a place that's... First of all, she this, there was time travel in this episode, which always makes things a little bit confusing. But she traveled back in time, essentially. Back to when Okami, or Subaki, was much younger. She hadn't established Konohanate or anything yet. Which is what makes this really interesting, because it kind of seems like Yuzu was the one that gave her the idea to start up Konohanate, but Yuzu's from the future, so it gets a very wonky time travel kind of thing, but, you know, don't try not to think too hard about it, really. And, but yeah, wishes were granted all around, you know, Tsubaki got a nice warm place and a home for herself full of other wonderful fox girls and everything. And yeah, Yuzu would have done well there, you know. That did seem like a pretty good place for her to work, but Konohanate is where she began working first. She has friends there and everything, so she still wanted to go back. Even though she had obviously said she wouldn't be able to go back, but I knew she would be able to go back some way or another. It would be pretty sad if she couldn't, honestly. But yes, in the end she did go back. She looked adorable in her little red <laughs> riding hood thing. And yeah, it was a really nice way to, to end off the series, and I do greatly hope for a second season. So, my thoughts on the series as a whole. This has been a very enjoyable series. The characters are very cute. There's obviously a little bit of Yuri into it, not quite as much as I would have liked, admittedly, because I don't think we ever really got a kiss between Satsuki and Yuzu, if memory serves, but it was still, it was still pretty nice. We had... Lots of hot spring scenes, which is to be expected with an anime with the hot spring in being its set in. But yes, a lot of very nice scenes, a lot of really cool characters. Uh, every episode was very enjoyable. I mean, it's not really a lot to say on it, even though I really enjoyed it, because this is very much a slice of life, cute show. But the music was really good. Like, the music did a good job of complimenting pretty much any scene that was that it was used in. For me, this series is definitely a 9 out of 10, and I really, really hope you end up getting more of it at some point. So, let me know what you thought of the anime. Much that of my reaction in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.